thought, rather than starting with them in chronological order, I'll, I'll <laughs> Puddleton, I'll do chronological-ish, but I thought we'd go with some of the slightly lesser known designers to kick things off, because we do have some courses from Matt and Mayday, which would have been the first two, but those guys have had, um, they've had a few streams last night, so I wanted to do some different ones. Now, we're going to start with Baby Balls, which is Cape Arry. Now, I'm just going to see whether he's done the form that I've asked everyone to fill out, which is designed to basically give us a little bit of insight into what the design is intending. And I'm going to have to log out of this account and go into another one. This is really well done, Ben. Um, so yeah, it's a good thing to wait for everyone else to turn up as well, and hopefully we get a fair few people in here. I remember, I still remember Reeb doing these for last year's CC and learning so much from those. I'm hoping to pass on even just a little bit of that this year. Um, should also be mentioned that I'm kind of part of this contest as well, so I've seen quite a few of the courses come together. Right, let's see, Dream Team submission form. So. And he has submitted the form, of course he has, what a legend. So we're going to read through this, you'll hear kind of the things I've asked people to put through it, just so that we as judges can get a bit of an idea of what each course is going for. Um, right, Kate Barry, what tees would you like to be judged from? Black tees, excellent. Any further conditions? Default settings, pin 1 is casual, pin 2 is fun, pin 3 is moving day and pin 4 is Sunday. That sounds good, I like that. Um, I feel like I want casual. I think I'm in a casual mood. Uh, any key design features? Out and back routing, double green, and no waterfalls. Fine. Intensity difficulty, medium. So, like, tougher CC, potentially elite, depends on conditions. That's great. So, not particularly difficult, not particularly easy. It's great. Um, any real life courses? Purely fictional. Um, which three required elements? So, I asked designers to put in three of a number of different elements to kind of make us focus on certain things. Here's got five par threes, total course yardage no greater than 6900 which is tricky, and a par three over 230 yards. Those That little combination really speaks to me immediately. So I think this should be a lot of fun. I think it's a great combination. Interested to see how he does a short yardage course because those are not easy to do and it's a great element to take on. So we're going to give this one a go. Now, he had said back black tees, and let's go with pin 1, and we'll see where we get. And finally, the stream's loading up on the other computer. Hey, Lisi. Leg slash ankle are yeah, getting better-ish. We're going to get black pin 1. No other settings. I mean, this looks great. I've always loved uh, Baby Wheel's courses. I think he's got a really good, luck, good eye for it. Um, frames things nicely. Hey Kenyon. Um, and his playability's gotten better and better. He's starting to have more strategy stuff in. I loved, 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 loved Toby's Rock in the CC contest. And this is cool. I like this vibe a lot. T box is flat. We've got to check for Kenyon. Um, this is really cool. Okay, wide and open. Good first hole. We've got a bunker here that will interestingly come into play potentially in some winds dependent on your driver length I like that a lot look at the green green contours are good green contours are really good love those little saddles that little fall away down to the back is great you might get some comments on like could this drain off this way I think you've got a little puddle here I'd like to see if it's falling this way it kind of falling off the edge ish but you know what, we're on minor, minor nitpicks. I also generally prefer to see this red extending all the way to the edge of the green so you don't have that risk of the ball just stopping right up there. Um, but again, super minor. Damn, I'm loving this. Planting looks great. What have we got? Let's zoom around the plot a little bit as well. So you said out, out and back. Oh, we've got coast. But we've got coast used sparingly, which I'm a big fan of. So he's not gone all the way. Yeah, baby ball, we're going to start with this one. He's got his rocks, because of course he does. But you know what, this feels cohesive. I love... 
I just love that this looks like a golf course first and foremost. I, yes, it's fantasy, but I think this is him doing that the best as possible. Okay, shortish hole, 390. So if we hit driver, we might have less than our wedge in. Might lay back, but if I lay back, then I'm taking those bunkers into play. It's a really clever little design to start off with. He is, isn't he? He's done well. So I'm either pushing myself into pitch territory, well, we'll see. Immediately a fun hole then. There's lots of little undulations, which I like. Yep, we're into pitch territory. Did not really want that, but I can probably love the bunker cutting in just short of the green. Mm -hmm. I love that deception from bunker, it's great. The ankle is getting better, thank you buddy. Um, yeah, I've been walking, but just yesterday was rough. Oh no. That's not so good. <laughs> Matt, I loved loading up and seeing it was Puddleton that was like the last course I'd played. Just great. Uh, alrighty. I don't know if the crowds are like, have I just left those on or are they meant to be there? The crowds really aren't doing anything for me. But I feel like that's just the game being stupid. So hopefully that just bounds down the slope and we're all good. Green speed at 161. Eh, don't love the choice of green speed, I think. <laughs> yeah, hey Jay, this is Baby Balls. So I, I thought I'd start with some of these playthroughs, but I didn't want to start with you and Mayo because it's just not, not going to quite be the start, I think. I don't know. I'm expecting those to be good. Whereas this one's one of those ones where it's just like, I'm expecting it to be good, but I'm also expecting that not everyone's going to assume it's going to be great straight out of the box. If that makes sense. Petra just published. Excellent. Um, yeah, one six ones. We're really close. Like default fast, uh, one six three. So I feel like one six one and one six three. There's not much variance there. You could, if you'd put it at like mid low one sixties or around the one seventy, be great. So we're going to play this, and then we're probably going to play Bayou. I think this bunker. I think you've done a pretty good job with it. It's tough to sculpt because the land is going down here and you want to sit this back side up a little bit more. I think you've done about as good a job as you can. I actually think it works really well. I'd probably dip the land down in front of it a little bit more. would give you a bit more scope for it looking just a touch left less awesome, uh, less awkward. Him. Yeah, waste area is great. Two central line bunkers are good. On a short course, this works. I love that it's pushing me into this. I also love that I can see the next hole coming back. Really well done. And that's not going to be what we want. Let's go find that bunker. <coughs> and I'm straight behind this. I love where you've done this little slope to make it. Now, looking at it, I think you could have done it a little bit neater. It's kind of flatter here and then dipping down a bit more, but meh, nitpicks. I'd also probably like to see it kind of coming in to the rest of the green a bit more. It feels like it just goes very flat around the pin, which, yeah. Yeah, his, I mean, his big rocks are his thing. I'm I'm all for that. Yeah, I think if there's one, I, and blue team guys have seen me make this comment a lot, if you've got these big red slopes that try and transition a bit more gradually, let's have a little bit more yellow kind of feeding into the green. I think it would look a little better and play a little neater. But damn, these have been good looks so far. Hopefully we're making the green and nope, nope, we're chipping again. I mean, what I'm liking most about the planting is it's not overstated. It's just doing exactly what it needs to. And I feel like there's a course on blue this matches up really well against, so I'm interested to see whether those two get to show down. <sighs> yeah, chat, do chime in with anything. It's really good start though, two strong holes, like both interesting bits of strategy there. Hey McTrees, Jamie? Yeah, again, just a good look. The dead grass is, and I think the green bushes are just the right tone.
little planting nitpick. I feel like we kind of have just paired them up and dotted them around. If you'd clump them a little bit more, it's like let's have just the bushes here and then just like leave this bit and then have a clump here or something. I think that would look a little less organised, but minor nitpick. Now these green slopes are funky. I like what you've done here. Mm, that might not be good. Okay, I need to find some tempo. I mean, the great views across the plot are just like perfect. I think I feel like it's a little maybe over flat around the pin, but you've said it. You want it to play relatively easy or like medium, so you can kind of. I can see that. But yeah, good evening everybody. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Or afternoon, wherever you are. Waste areas feel really natural. I love that you've extended them all the way out this way. I think that really adds to it. That it's And it's kind of... I mean, I am all in on this hole. This one's great. One little bunker. Great green slope. Hmm. Yep. And this is just good stuff. So I think we go down here. Eh, no, 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 we're going to go off that way because I can't hit a tee shot. But at least that offers us a decent pitch in. Um, yeah, probably a gap wedge. It's just, it's really good. I said in the thread, I think what I'm hoping, and I know Petty and Rhino were hoping the same as well, was that this contest is going to be seeing a few like a few guys really take a leap with designs because they've been able to ask questions and kind of pick up feedback and that. And I th this is one where I just feel like this is Streets better strategically and whole design wise than anything I've seen from him. And his other stuff was good. Still sitting at even part, and yeah. Could be doing better. Okay. Yeah, I think my major thing is just these green slopes. Just let's take the fuzzy brush and raise up the bottom of those tiers so they're just less hard because it's going from flat to nothing to flat. And I'd like to see that just bleeding in a little bit more. Well, yeah, blue blue team newbies have been good. I'm, I mean, these bunkers are done again really nicely. Waste area is great. Love the lion's mouth, meaning I definitely want to be here over here. I just think this is really well done. Although, could be over there and still generate an angle. All right, let's pray. Nope, nope. Let's go find that sand. Yeah, or heavy rough even. I'm trying to work out if that's just lag because I'm streaming or if that just got a little bit laggy in there. I don't know. Right, another pitch. Good leave, Ben. Mm. I mean, I don't think I've hit one tempo so far. This is it's about 12. Oh, I'm at that awkward yardage where I really, really, really do not want to hit a splash, and yet. Yeah, that will do, I guess. Still feel like the one six one greens are a little bit of a missed opportunity. Hmm. Boring round playing wise so far for me. I haven't done anything interesting. Just missed fairways and missed greens. This is great. Hey, finally, and it's only 95%, but we're okay. I reckon you probably could have gotten away with spicing the land up a little bit more. But again, like, I'm nitpicking, it's really good. Hey, Muddy! Oh, 
Oh, we, we've actually got a birdie par. Kind of the same on the greens. Like I, I do like what you've done. I think you can just go a bit more random still. Like maybe we soften out half of this. Too. Although this green's good. So is this our double green? This is one of the things he wants judged as a required element. And I like the way you've done it. They're clearly delineated. It's like a little steppity step down. It's great. I mean, and it is, and yet yeah, it's it's unexpected, but also like you can see bits of him in it. That was a dreadful part. I mean, it's not unexpected in the sense of can he pull this off? He definitely can. Double green was not a required element, but it was one one thing he wanted to highlight. I mean, um, no, his required elements were the part. I'll just read them out again. Uh, five par three holes, total course yardage no greater than six nine hundred, and par three over two thirty yards. Were his required elements. I mean, this looks gorgeous. This is the one I think he posted a picture of in the thread. Great looking hole. And I, I, you know what? I really like that he has not. He's resisted the temptation to just chuck this on the coast, because I think me and so many others would just put a par three here. And yet, when you look at where we are, this is just great. Really good hole. Still, I feel like short par three. I think we can do more with the green contours. For this type of course. And there's a fast. I think my major crit my major critique at the moment would just be that the the greens, whilst I like them, I think the first green's probably the best I've seen so far. They're kind of tier or not. Hmm. They don't mean shit. They I mean they might. Oh, that did not go. Is the stream very choppy for everyone else? I can't tell if it's just me. Lag City. Damn. Okay, I might have to restart the PC. I, It's been on all day and my wife's been working on it, so it might be part of what's causing it. Very. Excellent. Okay. I don't think there's a... Am I dropping frames? I'm not dropping frames, so I wonder whether it's just needing a restart. Let's see how we're looking. Yeah, it seems to have cleared up a little bit on mine. I'll give it another go. If not, I'll restart at the end of this playthrough and we'll go from there. Uh, this is lovely. Great par 5. I like the bunker. I like the centerline bunker. I'd have probably moved it to about here. Because I think going this side just isn't really an option. I don't think you're going to manage that. What was that? Is it? three wood range so it's more visual I guess than anything else better now excellent okay let's see how we go we got a perfect I mean great driving hole and like, I love that on this game you can just put hazards either side and have it play well fun little green site in this bunker, the sculpting is just not quite at the level of the rest of them. But I think that's because of where you've tried to have it face, because it's facing this way. And you're trying to make it look as if it's coming this way. I don't know, I'd have probably done kind of what you did on, was it one? And brought the bunker edge to here and then mounted up behind it and had it come more down here. Uh, it might have been all the grass. It might also just be my PC having a little struggle. And I wonder whether we can make this. Oh, not with that swing we can't. Oh no, sit down. <laughs> this is not where we want to play from. Okay. I mean, we know we should take an unplayable, but... There's a recovery. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, the central bunkers I feel haven't been overly done, and I think they've made sense where they are. 
all for it. I mean, I'm also I'm enjoying the fact that I'm playing about as badly as I can, and I'm only plus one, and that's through a few just very very poor shots. Mm. Is this different T boxes? Yeah, I feel like this sculpting here could be a little less blind. But again, I like it. It's definitely the grasses, if you look at how it's l just skipping a little bit when I'm moving over it. Oh my goodness, this is a tough tee shot. 417 yards. I mean, tempted to lay up. That would leave me how far? 200-ish? Let's lay up. Okay, part one complete. Yeah, I really like this hole. This hole's great. And we got a fast, and hopefully the wind takes us around. What I like most about that is I feel that was a genuine option for playing that hole if you didn't want to take the drive on. And because of how you've done the green, and I probably wouldn't take that option if I'm coming to this pin. And there you've definitely got to make the carry or you hit right the way down to there it's just a really cleverly designed hole big fan tell you what whoever's on blue that this goes up against has they've got a good fight on their hands this is great yep waste area has been good like I say I'm not sure on the crowds but then I think that might just be a me not using them. So we've got some potential double plateau action. We've got a little principal's nose. Would have loved to see this green be a double plateau. I'm sure Joe is the same and possibly others. But I think it's a good hole regardless. Loads of fairway that side. Wrong button. And angle wise, not atrocious. If we go that way. I kind of feel the same on this this one. The green, a few of the greens have kind of relied on the same thing, where we've just got a few tiers, and it's then otherwise pretty flat. That'll probably be my oh goodness, that'd be my main knock so far. I think that and the fact that it's not really catering to my god awful tempo, which is obviously all your fault. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's see if we can salvage a par again. Hmm. Not with shots like that. And putts like that. Well, well deserved bogey there. But again, I've got. You've got ch chances to hit the shots. It's. I'm just playing abysmally. I love that we're seeing the clubhouse again. I'm going to leap in and look at the scorecard now because I do feel one of your required elements was your five par threes. I think when you do that you have to make them play as differently as possible and I feel like I'm hitting the same shot in as I hit on seven. Now admittedly wind direction is totally different so that does play in your favour and I think you thought that through. And it is different in terms of the green complex, I like that it flows away. Let's have a little look at the other, the other threes. 182, 150 one four three one six six two three five. I think we could be using something in the one ninety ish range. Might might be helpful. Like where you're still hit, you're definitely hitting a long iron. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're definitely flickering a little bit. I will give the computer a restart after this course because I think that's probably part of it. But another really good looking hole is that that's our clubhouse up there. I just love the way this weaves through. God, it's like watching Pithy stream. 
I think it's definitely the grasses. Oh well. And this is our double green again that we're coming back to. I'm struggling to say things I haven't really said before. I really like the planting. Sightlines are great, you haven't missed one. Part of me wishes you had used the coast a little bit more, but maybe we're coming back to that. Hmm. Maybe I can blame my tempo on this lag. But probably not. Oh, there's a shot. Uh, nope. <laughs> Cannot, will not make a bogey, a birdie on this cox. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, I think the bridges are low key awesome as well. They just fit. They make sense. They're understated. Ooh, now I really like this one. I do feel yardage is a little similar again to the others, but. Just a really cool look. Love the amphitheatre. Yeah, that that is definitely not a very slow. Hmm. I swear they said tempo wasn't tied to frame rate in this version. It is a great look. He's done so well with this. Uh, let's go for that. Mm-hmm. That's okay, we're playing these for fun. I don't mind what I shoot. And I have not hit that. Yeah, that was a good line as well. Yeah, it's it's just really nicely done. I think those those brown grasses he's used really well. I kind of feel the same with this bunker. I'm not I like it if it's in the landing zone. Although even then I'd probably be putting it more on this side. I'm just not too sure on what its function is, if I'm honest. I guess if we're laying back to three wood then it comes into play a little bit more. But I think if you're laying back to three wood you want to allow a bit more space anyway so that like the layup is the punishment. Love the green angle, love the green slope would love this to be a more consistent slope because that way the further right I am yeah so I guess I do want to be left so maybe the bunker makes a bit more sense I don't know it just feels a bit awkward this land like this whole landing zone feels like it's off limits where I'd whereas I'd love you to be offering kind of the chance to play here and land here and challenge these bunkers by not rolling into them and open up that angle to the green I think would be better. Great sightline though. Oh my goodness we have a perfect and we're gonna roll into the rough. That's fine. Yeah this sculpting, this bunker, going I, I think your the main thing I would really suggest constant like I've suggested on the greens as well is this going high to dead flat and just transitioning that out a little bit neater. Minor though, like Totally a minor thing. Mm. Alright, let's go and hit the ball off the planet somewhere. Or into that bunker. Let's go there. <laughs> Nobody's. <laughs> no, I know. I know. This is a fair point. Oh my goodness, we might make a birdie. <laughs> Nearly missed it. Mm-hmm. Cool look. I'm immediately expecting all sorts of camber on this fairway. Delighted that I've got it. This feels like yeah, this is a tough hole. Ooh. So if we do lay up I mean I like this one a lot. If we do lay up, what are we leaving in? Up fifty seven feet. That's up 10, so we're probably leaving ourselves a good 6 iron or so. Probably worth it not to take on the camber so much. I like this a lot. 
Oh, it's actually nowhere near as much as I thought it was. This is baby balls. Yep, and we do have a six iron in, and yeah, probably should have taken on the drive a bit more. Definitely should have taken on the drive a little bit more. Just a really cool use of elevation change in camber here. It's gone well. Huh. Bushes are well clumped, I agree. Yeah, definitely. It's just a good look. Let's go give that birdie straight back. Okay, three left. Finishing on a par five, I see. It hasn't felt... Um, I wouldn't say it has really felt like a short course, and I think the, s the yardage you've, you've done really nicely. I like this one because I do... A large part of me wants to bomb driver, and I've been doing that everywhere, and it hasn't really yielded any results. I like this green a lot more because you've gone with the half tiers rather than the solid ones. I still think there could be a bit more gradation, but I like it a lot. Yep. Do I lay back? 416. Probably don't lay back. But uh, this is just annoying. I I love this. I'm really, really big fan of this hole. Because I'm looking at that back tier and wondering if I can use that at all. It's like a little backstop if I go up this way, but then might like a tiny bit more fairway here, but I am so nitpicking with that. Nope, we're going to go with driver. And it was an incorrect decision. <laughs> hey Paddy, how are we doing? Okay, still, this is doable. Mm. Pitching wedge I feel is too much, isn't it? 109, 90%. Hmm. Let's go with pitching wedge. And it is too much. But we're sort of... Because of the way you've done the half tier, I'm now not necessarily coming down as much. Which I think that's worked really nicely. What a part line. Jeez, Ben. <laughs> Yonder. Okay, and this is one he wa he wants judged specifically. So long par three. For me, long par three has to be used the ground, like allow people a chance to run it up. I like this bunker a lot. Might have liked a little more fairway behind it in front of the green, but I'm okay with it. I think this little tiny tier is great. Like more of this. Big fan. Because if you're slightly above that, that's like it's a subtle penalty rather than a just you're at the bottom of the three foot slope penalty. And of course we get the slow when we want the fast. Damn it. Oh, I like the little mounding in. Feels like there's a chance to roll it off the hill a bit. These flops, jeez. Another one of those god awful butts. Well, that's a very deserved bogey. Yeah, it's a solid hole. I don't, I'd have liked to see a little bit more bounce on short. This bunker just needs to lose this top bit. I get why it's there, but the sculpting is impossible with how you've got it, really. If you want this bit to be as high as it is, and this bit back here as high, it, it's just difficult. Whereas the others look great. Bunkers have generally been awesome. And of course we're going to go for the heroic carry, because we've been doing it all evening and it's borne no result whatsoever. And the random slow again. 
<laughs> oh, I've got the angle so wrong. Okay, let's lay up this way. Bit of a red lie. Shame I don't really get this approach because I think this looks great. I like that you've allowed, even though I've missed it, a shed load of fairway out left. It's brilliant. Lob wedge pitch down could be really good. Can funnel off that slope. I think that's a lot of fun. Not enough people do this, like have slopes that funnel towards pins. I, on a back green, I think they can work so nicely. Hmm. Well, we're almost certainly going to hit a fast or a very slow, so... Oh! Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, Lasso. Ah, oh, and there's the part we love. Random little one. And left. All right. So that's, I mean, really enjoyable. I've played abysmally, so apologies for not showing the course in the best light. Um, things I really liked. I thought the overall atmosphere of the course was outstanding. I think um, for a short course, it really keeps interest. I think it's varied. Uh, holes never felt the same. Maybe those two par threes are a little bit similar in terms of distance, but. Um, really liked it. Planting's outstanding. The natural look is great. It's a massive step forward for you. Um, I just just think this is brilliant. What I would have liked to see a little bit more be those undulations coming into the greens a bit more. Um, just with the plot you've got and the mounding and all the random humps and bumps, having kind of relatively flattish when you're on the tier greens and then pretty tiered greens just it didn't fit as well as it could have done for me and I certainly think you can raise the bottom of those tiers a little bit more would help um, otherwise I've not got a lot to add I thought the strategy on certain holes was done really nicely and I hope that that's like um, I hope that's borne out so yeah great start to this we're gonna come back in it's gonna be about four or five minutes while I restart the computer but we're gonna come back and we're gonna play some more so I'm gonna cut the stream here restart the computer and lose that lag I'll be back in a few minutes Take care.